Well, greetings, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas. What a week. I'm just finishing up uh, my last public classes with Kaplan. So 42 students Thursday, Friday for my Series 24, 65 students for my uh, last Series 7 uh, public class uh, today, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, see you Tuesday for the live stream, 5.30 p.m., Las Vegas time. See you Thursday for our premiere of a Series 7 practice test. And uh, when I'm teaching, it takes me a while to get back to you. So anyways, here's today's requested explication. A uh, One of your customers owns five JLOs. Oh, by the way, I forgot to give the commercial. Uh, Kaplan, uh, if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, it's a great paid supplement. And if you use my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, uh, it's about $60. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. You can either Google Dean Tenney or Series 7 Guru. Either one will come up, but it's uh, at Series 7 Guru or Dean Tenney. Okay, the commercial means Kaplan is giving permission for me to give you a free look on Kaplan contents, free looks either like this or in terms of uh, practice tests that I may share on the channel. But we're agnostic. Uh, we help everybody regardless of past perfect training consultants, STC doesn't matter. In fact, I have a lot of students in the uh, class today who are just doing the seminar with me who are, you know, uh, using other person's uh, study materials. But uh, in that case, same thing I told you, I think you should buy a Kaplan QBank. All right. So one of your customer owns five JLO fives and bond speak. That means a 5% coupon that may or may not be important. 2042. The uh, debentures have a conversion in price of 15. I can't stress how important this is to you. When you get the conversion price, you need to establish the conversion ratio. We need to know how many shares we can get. That's based on par. So the minute you get that, you got to say, bastards, I don't need the conversion price. I need the ratio. And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take 1,000 par. I'm going to divide that by 15 to establish the conversion ratio. So I'm gonna get out my calculator and I'm gonna take a thousand divide by 15 to establish the conversion ratio. By the way, there's five of them here. So that may or may not be an issue. So 1000 divide by 15 equals uh, 60, but kind of, you know, by the way, you're going to be upset with an underwriter who, you know, has some funky price like this. You know? But anyways, I get 66, uh, 66 as my conversion ratio. So that's our first thing. Now to get parity, to get parity, I'm either going to multiply or divide. So here they gave me the current market price of the convertible. So the current market price of the convertible is 800. And I'm going to divide by the conversion ratio. So I'm going to take the current market price of the convertible and I'm going to divide by the conversion ratio. And I get $12 is parity of the common. Oh. Uh, you are definitely going to have to do that on the test. You are going to definitely have to, to do parity. So uh, that's what it's equal to. So in other words, what we're saying here is if you pay $800 for this convertible bond in the secondary market, you'd be paying the equivalent of $12 for the stock. Now, typically the stock would be below $12. You know, maybe the stock's at 10. Who knows where the stock's at? Maybe below that. If the stock was above 12, there'd be an arbitrage opportunity. All right, so let's review real quick. Uh, one of your customers owns five JLO fives of 2042. Who cares? Five bonds. So five times 66.66 is how many shares you could turn this into. By the way, at the end, 2042, you can switch your status anytime you want from convertible bond holder to the stockholder. But in 2042, they're going to say, what do you want? Do you want your principal back, the $1,000, or do you want X number of shares? 
The debentures have a conversion price of 15. As I said, very important on the test. The minute you get conversion price, you need to establish the conversion ratio. The conversion ratio is based on par. So we're going to take 1,000. We're going to divide by the conversion price. We're back in business. We now have the conversion ratio. To get the uh, parity, we're either going to multiply or divide. If it's uh, asking parity of the stock, we're going to divide. If they're asking parity of the bond, we're going to multiply. So here we find out that uh, if we can turn the bond, 80 is 80% of par, par is 1,800. We can turn that into 66.66 shares. We would be paying $12 for the stock. That should be our minimum expectation. As we said, we would expect the stock is trading somewhere below parity. It's, you know, I'll just make up a number somewhere, maybe 10. Because that, by, by the way, if the stock was at you know, 13, you'd say, well, sign me up. I can get it for 12, it's 13, it'd be an arbitrage opportunity. All right, then let's see if that's one of the answers available to us. And indeed, that is choice A. And so let's see uh, what the rationale says. Let's clear up our chat. Uh, rationale says, yep, there we go, right? Kind of what we did there. And then, uh, you know, the person in charge of the Q Bank is my friend, Bill. He said some people might want to do the 20%. I wouldn't recommend it because what you're going to have to do is parity. So you're going to have to do that. This is math you can't be fumbling around with. What I mean by is you can't be fumbling around with it is you, can, you got to be able to do this math and do it as a matter of routine, right? Okay, so remember inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch, yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. Uh, make sure you send me any questions you'd like me to make a little video explanation of, and I'm more than happy to do so. I'll see you tomorrow night. 5.30. Let's see if I can talk any of my 65 students <laughs> into joining us for tomorrow or any of my 42, uh, 24 people. So who knows? It might be a big party happening tomorrow. I'm also coming up on a uh, million views on the YouTube channel and 10,000 subscribers and our R Series 7 community is coming up on 2,000. So uh, we got to have some kind of a celebration. If you have any ideas, let me know. I'm thinking like a Zoom cocktail party or something. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.